The following is not suitable for children under the age of 18. This show contains coarse language and sexual themes that may be deemed over the top, as well as my own personal views. Please note all characters of the show are fiction and are not targets of anyone or anything, but are made up for complete satire. Sky Genie. My normal show will be back next week, but I'm going to review a Pokemon game. Yes, that's right, a Pokemon game. Pokemon, Pokemon, whatever. And before you ask, no, I'm not a Pokemon nerd. I used to watch the show. I guess you could say I'm a typical first generation guy. I used to watch the cartoon or anime so I don't piss off the big anime nerds out there. It was about the time they got around Johto. I kind of stopped watching and the video games. I remember owning Red and Silver. I guess I'll call this a re- review from a one gen I believe is the term they call it. But anyway. So being a first generation Pokemon fan at the time. I believe my favourite was Charizard. The whole gaming franchise. As everyone would know. You'd start out going on your adventure. Catching all the Pokemon. you go around... Battling all the gym leaders, getting all badges, and fight the Elite Four. It kind of always pissed me off while watching the anime when Ash would catch a Pokemon, but then he'd let it go. I mean, what's the point of catching them all? Yeah, teaching them moral, but fuck that. And he hardly wins any of the Pokemon leagues. But anyway, so after about Johto, I stopped watching Pokemon. Then I came across Pokemon X and Y because I heard all the hype about it, how the Charizards and Ivys or Venusaurs or Mega Evolve. And I thought that was a cool concept, so I bought Pokemon X. And I actually really liked the game. There was a lot of fun and so many changes. You could customize your character so it actually looks like you. And it was actually a lot more challenging of a game. Because if you play the first two generations, it's pretty much formula, formula. And everybody... Did the missing no cheat where you put the item like you ran candies or your master balls on the sixth row down. You go up and down Cinnabar Island and you beat them and you get multiple so you have everybody at level 100. Well of course since that time technology has changed. Video games have changed to become more 3D and realistic on a lot of them. But last year was a really good game. For Christmas this year, or last year, 2016, whenever you hear this, I was given a hundred bucks. Because I'm the hardest person to buy for a Christmas present or birthday present. I pretty much don't want anything. I mean, if I get it, I'll just get it if I want it. I mean, I'm old enough. I kept seeing all the hype for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So it was two days after Christmas, so I bought Pokemon Sun. It's different, new, and I thought if it's anything like the last one, hey, this might be pretty good. And this one, you get Z moves. And that's pretty much all they focused on. This time around, all the gym leaders were taken out, and you did all these trials through all your Pokemon types. Oh, I'll just go on by saying, even with Pokemon X, half the Pokemon, I don't even know or how to pronounce them. I mean, there was fucking keys. And in Pokemon Sun... 
there was a bus that was a bug type, but I chose the cat that's a fire type as the starter. So for the people that know what I'm talking about, that's it. Anyway, after three days of beating the game, I haven't caught all the Pokemon. I mean, that's not what I meant by finishing the game, but I went, did all the trials, won the Pokemon League, did the battle tree or whatever the fuck it is. To give an honest review, because I looked around to see what others gave this, and people were giving this a 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10, and I didn't think it was that great. I mean... So many aspects of it. Like, the last game had all the Mega Evolution. That's all, That was all the focus. And while you do get a Mega Evolution in this one, virtually at the end of it, so for the people this might have spoiled, but all they do is focus on the Z-moves. And my thinking is maybe they should have expanded more of the... Okay, done the Z-moves, but also expanded on the Mega Evolution part as well. Introduce new Pokemon to Mega Evolutions. Don't give everyone Mega Evolutions, but expand a bit more. That's not to say I hate the game at all. But after the last game, I expected a bit more. Some of the fun of it was taken out. And the whole Hawaiian Island thing kind of felt like the Johto League on a video game. Sorry, I meant the Orange League. Ah, eh, fuck it, I'll keep it in. So if I had to give... Uh, rating out of 10 I would say this would be a 4 I would like to thank you for listening please like, share and subscribe this will be up on my extra page on skyjenny.weebly.com thank you for listening